So you'd like to find out how to use the NVIDIA streaming service. Well, you've come to the right place. Now I will now go through a tutorial on how to get it to work with OBS uh, and it should apply to all the other streaming softwares as well. So hopefully that will, uh, hopefully this will help you guys out. And uh, let's get straight into the video. Right, okay, so we are now back to normal. Uh, First, we need to go to the NVIDIA website, which I have in the background here. We've got all of the lovely stuff going on. We've got the new graphics cards and the broadcast apps. Oh, so that's what we actually looking for. So under gaming, so just type in NVIDIA, go to the website, go to gaming, NVIDIA broadcast app. If this works with lots of load. Um, we have the app, which is pretty simple to find. Um, which you might have seen videos of this guy doing it. I have, if you haven't checked out my other video over there, I think hopefully it will be over there, um, of me kind of testing out all of the NVIDIA um, streaming or broad, sorry, broadcast app um, software. Then make sure to go and do that because that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. But we need to go to here and we need to click download now. Now I've already downloaded it so we don't have to wait around. Um, but it shouldn't take too long and as long as you have your graphics card updated to the, the highest update which all you need to do is just go uh, to Windows and type in NVIDIA control panel or it might be GeForce experience uh, and then it should automatically update for you but make sure you do that first and then we can get on with the video. Okay, so this should then, once you've installed this, bring this up and we should have microphone, speakers and camera, which, not to confuse people, it is not a entire broadcasting service. It's not like OBS, you can't replace this with OBS. This is just, this, this, these are just tools to use in it to, to improve your stream or you want to record something um, and make it look good. Um, yeah. Anyway, so now let's go to, I'll be using for this video OBS since that's what I use for my all my stuff. Um, but this will apply to Streamlabs I believe as well uh, and most other streaming services. So let's go and get OBS. Okay, so I have now disappeared. However, uh, this is, so I, as OBS, I have now made my OBS fresh. So it looks should it look exactly the same yours or maybe a little different because I've moved around the things but this is what your OBS should look like um, and so if we want to use the these things we can do a little, cool little wiggle here uh, so to start off we need microphones so this is my microphone the HyperX Quadcast which it should automatically detect your microphone source uh, you can only do vo uh, noise removal at the moment which will just mean that it will get rid of background noise um, which you can mess around with, which I did in the other video. But to do this, so we want to have this turned on. Now, so we have display capture already, which is showing you this. We need to go down here and we need the audio input because it is a, um, this is your microphone. Actually, you know what? We don't need to do this. So you, if that is the so a method of doing it just manually is adding a audio input and choosing a microphone NVIDIA broadcast. But another way of doing it, which will be probably get rid of this uh, better way of doing it, is going here. Go to properties, properties, uh, and device and microphone NVIDIA broadcast, which will now be using might sound a little bit different uh, but that should be using this microphone here um, so if I do slam my keyboard now let's I can type yeah. so if I was to type I am now typing you can't hear anything and as well it should be net mouse clicks as well which I've noticed when you are typing and making background noise and talking at the same time, it then decreases the your voice uh, quality, but that is a sacrifice you kind of have to make with it. So we have now our mic slash aux set up. That can you can change that. That'll require that's just simple of OBS stuff. Now 
let's get this back up. So we now need speakers, which, so this is uh, audio source of these. You want to choose your headphones, um, which will be, these are my headphones I'm using currently now. And you want the noise removal, not that you have much choice. Um, so this will be if you're listening to a video, maybe you're in a listening to a call and there's loads of background noise or something like that. Um, right. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, if you're listening to a video and there's a lot of background noise, then you can turn this up and down. By the way, if you do want to change these, these should be live much um, you hear. So I think if you go as to now, Yeah, so I did hit the key. Obviously, you heard it, but you couldn't hear the key. You would have heard the key. It was turned up. But, uh, yeah, so there's a little demonstration here. Hi there. This is a test message with a chip bag in the background. Normally, it'd be difficult to carry a conversation with someone as a result so of that's this background with noise. The strength but flow, and that's with the with strength NVIDIA's flow. With NVIDIA's AI... Simple as that. Um, so... Either you will need to change, so you will need to change it down here as well. So we need to do speaker and video broadcast. So that turns that audio source into that. And you can still just have that wherever you want. Uh, and then you can do, 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 that's the wrong one. Properties and speaker and video broadcast. So that should now be up that as well. Bring this back up. So we have the, the microphone and speakers working as well. Now we need the camera. Camera would like to work. There we go. The camera is now working. You can now see my face again. So you will need to select your camera. Mine is the FHD camera. Um, and you can choose whatever, whatever resolution you want to do for that. So I'm just going to choose 1080p for the moment. Oh to then restart it um, and then on here you have the black blur back, background replacement background removal and auto frame so background blur as in the name pretty much it will just blur anything that's not you and you can turn it up and down uh, i have gone over this so background replacement you can change it for a image and background removal is just nothing and then auto frame that's what's going to be the tool if I zoom in it will zoom in on my face and then it will follow my face right so if we want so let's go with background removal for the moment so that may look a bit strange there but if we close this down go to video capture device Call this whatever you want, so I shall call it NVIDIA for the moment. Uh, and then we need to tell it to use the NVIDIA broadcast, uh, which should, might not work at the moment. There we go, so my camera is now turned on and there's lots of me's behind me. <laughs> um, and you can, well, I've found problems when I, when I turn it to custom. But if you leave that on device default, that seems to be good. I usually, uh, for streaming, I have deactivate on not showing because it means that when you switch to another scene, it's not using the power to run this and find it. It makes some sense. Then you can flip that. If camera now needs to reset, if it's not loading, you can do deactivate and activate, and it should do that for you. The camera will turn on. There we go. I now flipped upside down. If you want to do that? Uh, that is your choice completely. Uh, and that should be all we, all we need to do. So when my camera turns back on, and now I'll resize this. Um, so this would be your screen. So you can get whatever game you want behind it. Since this is transparent, uh, you can do whatever you want with it. So you can have it up here here or you can do as how i'm doing having it down here for the moment um which then as well i forgot to say sorry um if you then change decide you want to change it to background replacement it updates 
uh, as you use it. So I've now got the picture of all the different TVs that I've used, used that the image I've used before. And that works as well for background blur, auto frame. So we now have very zoomed in. Um, which I will go with background removal for the moment. But this is in beta, so it might not look amazing, but it is free and it is another option to not use um, a green screen, which you obviously have to buy and then set up in your room. But there are obviously problems with like moving your hands really quickly. It looks kind of weird. And if you have stuff in front of it, like a mic over here, it will look a bit strange. But uh, I think as well, we'll think about this is that if you want to close it, it still works. So you don't need to have it open, but as long as you have it set to that, um, and then you can tell NVIDIA to launch when you start, and then you can just do, so if you go onto Zoom, for example, just tell it to use that camera, it will be NVIDIA broadcast camera, then this will literally just be like the same as this. And then obviously to add like a, uh, a game behind you, you can do. Um, so I think for some reason the video camera's got a audio as well, but you don't don't really need to use that. Um, but that was a little tutorial on how to use the Nvidia broadcasting app. Is that right? Um, with OBS and this will, as I said, it will work exactly the same with Streamlabs, so you shouldn't have any problems at all. Uh, if you do, make sure to let me know in the comment section below and I'm trying my best to try and help you. Uh, this is my like second tutorial, so hopefully uh, this has worked and you're now using the software yourself because I might actually use this for my live streams now because I'm quite impressed by how this works. Yes, anyway, thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure to, if you like the video, maybe snap a like. I think it's, it's, over, it's, I think it's over there somewhere. Um, and maybe even subscribe if you want to if you want to see more tutorials like this um, yeah i've only I, I don't really want to do tutorials on stuff that i don't really know really so this i've worked out how to do it i'm quite i know how to use obs but use it quite a lot but anyway thank you very much for watching um i'll see you all in the next one